Okay, guys, so we're going to stay with another video. Um, Stu Russell from Universal Tennis Academy and another use for the RMT clubs that we're going to kind of piggyback on what we did last month where we were focused a little bit on the strike zone. And we're going to use it. And the basic premise behind this drill is going to be showing you the importance of your non-dominant side, okay, all the way to the completion of your stroke. Okay, so I'm going to use Sam Armas um, and Emery Heiser to kind of demonstrate what are some commonalities on people and how they understand the importance of both sides of their body when they're swinging. Okay, not just left versus right or vice versa, especially on the backhand side. One of the major things that we always use, and I use it as a trick question for a lot of kids, is on the backhand side, what's the most important hand? And obviously it's kind of a trick question, but they're both important. Okay, that's a two-hand backhand. Most people usually say one versus the other, okay? And this, a couple of these drills that we're gonna do with them, have them understand the importance of using both sides of their body from the beginning to the middle to the end of their stroke, okay? So I'm gonna use both of them. They're both gonna use two pound RMT clubs to find their balance point as they come up on the Bozu ball. They're gonna put one in the right hand and one in the left hand when they come up on top, okay? The reason I'm using the Bozu ball at the beginning is simply because of balance. Okay, making sure that they're not overusing any part of their muscles when to try and generate the forward part of the swing. From that position, once they establish their balance, they just put both arms up as if they would be attempting a ground stroke. Okay, making sure that they're kind of uniform or somehow in sync as they go. On their loading phase, on their forehand ground stroke, both their dominant right hand and righty swing. Okay, so if I told them to line up their forehand swing with the RMT clubs on the Bozu ball, they both can do it. So we're going to line up the forehand swing. And again, here's the important part, okay? They understand the idea of measuring their ground stroke with the non-dominant side, getting their left side over here as a measuring device. For both, what the commonality is, is as they begin their forward part of their swing, this is the side that tends to get lost in the shuffle. Okay, so Emery's going to demonstrate for me the wrong way what happens as I begin the forward part of the swing. Okay, the wrong side meaning that the left side gets lost in the shuffle as she begins and gets too low. Okay, Sam, do the same thing on, the, on this side. Go ahead. Good, the low left side. And what the drill is designed to do now, okay, we'll be all lined up again on the bozu ball. Go to your forehand side for balance. Go. Okay, they're both measuring good, and what they're going to do is they're going to focus in on using both sides of their body on the forward part of the swing and being in sync. Go ahead. Notice when they're done, left side stays involved, stays engaged, they both look in sync. Left side still being used the ending part of the swing. Okay? We now combine that skill with what we did um, last month, and we try and work three parts of the strike zone. So if I told them to go ahead and hit what would be a high forehand, go ahead. High forehand, the higher, they're focusing again on both arms being in sync when they're done. Okay? I go low forehand, go low. Same idea. Somewhere in here, okay, you're gonna find somewhere in, this, in one of those aspects, somebody's gonna wanna have this left side disappear a little bit too quickly. Okay? Do the same thing on your backhand side. This becomes really, really important when they're using two hand backhand. Okay? You'll notice. Okay? Right side now, staying uniform with the left side. Show me the wrong way, a lot of people do. Okay, we're losing this, we're losing our balance as we come through with the swing, rather than keeping an elevated opposite side, or non-dominant side. Still your non-dominant side is the right, it becomes your left side, but in this case, we're focusing it on the right side, staying uniform with the left side as they come through the stroke. Okay, off the bozu ball. Okay, let's go ahead and move around. Okay, start with your ready position. Both clubs, go ahead. Okay, now we go back to what we were talking about doing as far as maybe three different types of swings. They can also incorporate some different stances. But now they're going to focus in on uh, maybe a low, medium, high forehand or backhand and focusing in on the synchronization of the stroke with both sides of the body. All right, let's go for a couple forehand reps. Go ahead, go through it. Go ahead, again. Good. Again. Right, let's go back hand side. And what you'll notice when we're doing these, go ahead again, is you try and find 
a weakness. Now I experimented, and I, and I mean this in a nice way, I was thinking about doing something, and I don't need to elevate the drill a little bit further, but if you found that somebody was having a real hard time, I got a four pounder here, and you can say on your backhand side, go ahead and do support the same thing. Okay, really to have the focus, because you're giving an extra element of weight, so they can, don't lose it. Especially if somebody's having trouble of being guilty of doing what a lot of pros tell you when you're done. You're opening up too quick, you're pulling off the ball, and if I told Sam to practice that on her forehand side, forehand ground stroke, go ahead, okay? She's really having to focus a little bit more of her attention on making sure that the club stays here rather than pulling off or opening up too soon. Show me the wrong way with that, with this club. Obviously, left side disappears, kind of breaks down when she comes through, but exaggerated version of the wrong way. Okay, and then show me the right way as a coach. Very good. So she's kind of finishing her stroke, making sure that this is being supported. Okay? So a couple different versions of how we would do it. So again, the trick questions become, not trick questions, but the questions you could ask students, what's the most important side of your body on your ground strokes? And they should be answering both. They both serve a purpose from the beginning part of the swing, example on my forehand side when I measure, to the ending part of my swing when I'm done. Okay? So beginning, middle, and the end of the stroke all has to be used in synchronization. So we're hoping Start to focus a little bit on some drills that they're now going to jump right into. Again, I'm going to feed them a couple balls. I'm going to probably hit three different heights to them, or feed three different heights, like we talked about. Low, medium, and high. Okay? Okay. So a good little drill to do um, is your typical shadow, your brown stroke drill. Okay, to where Emery's going to focus in on what we just talked about. But while she's doing it, Sam's going to be in the back with two clubs, okay, shadowing the stroke before she jumps into line. We're going to do it like kind of a little chain to where one's working while the other one's still working, getting some shadow stroke in when we're doing it. Okay? Are you ready? Go. Go a little higher on the left side. Good there. Again. Good one more. Good. Now I'll give her a couple backhands to where she can focus in on it. I'm always a big fan also when we're doing this. Maybe, maybe, maybe you should have them understand what the wrong swing looks like as well. Okay? There's nothing wrong with understanding how to reinforce when somebody does the improper swing so they can actually feel or visualize what they're doing when they're done. So a good little drill to do would be to do this as well. Start at the ending of your backhand swing. Right, so now she's going to bring it to the front side of her swing and kind of visualize what she's supposed to look like when she's finishing. You ready? Again. Good, lengthen it out. The wrong swing. Good. The right swing, again, feel the length. Go to the ending one more time. Ending. Good, visualize that when you're done. Well, good, switch. Ending of your forehand. Ending of your forehand. Good. Now get through. Good. Do it again. Feel the length. Feel the extension, especially with the opposite side when she's done. Good. And then same thing on the backhand side. Okay. Ending. Get to the ending. Good, there. Get to the ending. Good, and one more. Good try. Good. Okay, so you gotta understand what I'm talking about when we do these kind of drills, okay? This is basically the non-dominant side, and understanding that from the beginning to the men, middle to the end of the swing, that there's a purpose associated with both sides of your body. Look forward to you guys working on it, and I'll get back to you next time with another drill.